Let's talk about setting up employee beginning balances. If you're transitioning to Peachtree during mid-year, you'll have payroll beginning balances to set up for your employees so that their year-to-date information is correct on both their pay stubs and their W-2s at the end of the year. To set up beginning balances, come down here to the lower right-hand corner and click on the Beginning Balance button. This brings up the Employee Beginning Balances window. Next, let's select an employee. Let's pull in Mr. John Smith, who we just set up in the previous video. We need to enter information for both the first and second quarters because we transitioned over to Peachtree during the third quarter of the year. Our transition date was July 1st. We transitioned from a different accounting software package to Peachtree. So we want to set up a column for each quarter, March 31st and June 30th. Now we have our two quarters and we want to enter our information for year to date for Mr. Smith. In the first quarter, his gross pay was $9,000. He's a salary employee, so his second quarter gross is the same. Now enter his deductions year to date for both quarters. Enter them as negative numbers. These amounts for Mr. Smith will be the same in both columns. If you're transitioning mid-year, we recommend having a column for each quarter. This way, if you need to reconcile your quarterly reports, such as your 941s, the information will be accurate in Peachtree, even though you weren't using it during these quarters. You can see that all the payroll fields are available here. So if we need to enter in, if we needed to enter any beginning balance amounts, we have all the fields available, including year-to-date vacation, year-to-date sick, 401k, etc. Great. We have all of his beginning balance information in Peachtree now and we have a net check amount down at the bottom. Let's save this information for Mr. Smith. Let's close out and now let's go look at a year-to-date information on a payroll check for Mr. Smith. Let's come in here under the tasks pull-down menu and let's come down to payroll entry. Let's pull him in under the employee ID field. And notice this is the check for July 1st, an example check. Let's preview it on the screen to see how it looks. We like the pre-printed two-stub. And here's his current check information and his year-to-date information. You can see his year-to-date, 19.5. So that, that year-to-date information came from the beginning balance section that we set up plus this check because we set up 9,000 for each quarter plus the 1,500. This way year-to-date information on his pay stub is accurate and all the information within Peachtree for payroll is accurate as well. If we need to go back and run a 941 report for the first quarter then we'd have that information in here. 